Hey my YouTube family, how's it going? So I thought, you know, today I should wear like a vest because my transformation is about to come to an end, you know, but hey, remember, this transformation will continue. I'll sh exactly going to show you how you can actually take your body to the next level week on week, but officially we'll end it probably next week. So you just do let me know. How do you like the gains? You remember those shots that I shared with you a few weeks ago? Anyways, so, you know, what are we talking about today? I'm going to talk about something which is very, very interesting. We're talking about genetics. Now, Genetics is something most of you would know that we have no control of. You know, you're just born with whatever your mama gave you. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. But there are people, you know, we know because there are celebrities who have managed to change their genetics. Or probably take the genetics to another level whatsoever. So who are those celebrities? Can we learn something from these guys? Learning from them probably would help us also change our genetics genetics which we not only can defy but can also maintain for the rest of our lives so what are we talking about here what are those who are those celebrities number one you all know him Virat Kohli now think about Virat Kohli you know if you see him in his childhood days if you see him you know remember that photograph that's that's doing around on Facebook where Ashish Nehra is giving Virat Kohli the price you know I think he won somewhere in school just have, have a look at it You'll see that he's a very chubby kid and he was chubby till about 17 years too, 18 years I believe. And then suddenly, you know, he started losing weight and if you were to look at him now, I think he's between 26 to 28 years, he's looking exactly different. So he was an endomorph, a guy, you know, who obviously had a tendency to put on weight. And then in his mid twenties, he became an ectomorph or I would call it a blend of ecto and meso, somebody who's genetically skinny, looks to be genetically skinny, but has some muscle mass. So it's a mix of ecto meso put together. So he has managed to change his genetics. And I'm sure, you know, the, you know, there is a lot of hard work which has gone into it because remember guys, you know, there is no room for drugs at sports, especially in cricket. Uh, so that's why I have huge respect for these guys because you understand uh, people who are playing active cricket and you know, these guys play cricket all through the year. They have to be active. You know, they can't be on a diet, you know, which is obviously low carb. They have to have good food. They have to have food, which will give them energy because if, if they are running short on fuel which is food it'll have an impact on their performance which is not what they want plus you know I've been also reading and seeing on television you must have seen it too that, you know he has switched to a grilled food diet he only eats grilled food and and you know there's a lot to learn from this guy you know and I respect him for the fact that you know what he you are a, a fat guy in the past but with sheer sports passion and enthusiasm uh, you've not only done our country proud but you also managed to change your genetic to hats of guys so you always ask me who do we look up to in terms of our role model so there you go Virat Kohli is one guy that we all should look up to you know from from his physique perspective from what he's doing with his uh, talent to to what he is what he has managed to do so he's one guy who has also changed his genetics so that's more from a genetic side number two another example but from a different uh, industry Salman Khan now he's one guy, if you go back to his Mene Pyar Kia days and you know back in late 80s and early 90s, he was an ectomorph, a very skinny guy about way somewhere between 50 to 60 kilos. But now in his uh, late 40s, I think he turned 50 now, uh, he's more of an endomezo, which means that you know he looks to me a little bloated, but at the same time has uh, muscle mass too because so what he can do is he can immediately for a shoot, uh, can, can bring back his body, can bring about that muscle mass back again. His muscle memory is very good. So whatever he does uh, during his off season when there are no movies, you know, where the scene does not require him to show his body, he's pretty much eating everything. But the moment the show comes in, you know, he has a body show like a movie Sultan coming in, you know, he's pretty ripped. So he's a blend of endo mezzo, you know, coming back, but he was born as an ectomorph. So that's quite a learning there too. Number three is another example from the same industry, John Abraham. Now John Abraham, if you were to look at him, he was a Mesomorph, you know, a guy, you know, who uh, looked muscular, you know, had a little bit of uh, 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 water, but that's okay because he wasn't training back in his days, you know, the jism days, he was a little muscular. What he has managed to do now is he has taken his mesomorph frame to another level now. He comes across as a super muscular guy, but remember, the amount of hard work this guy also puts in is insane. So, what he has managed to do is, you know, he has taken a mesomorph look and turned it into an extreme mesomorph look which means that you know uh, even if he ages now 
he will lose very little muscle mass as he as he reaches his 50 so that's that's the learning guys remember always i always tell you this and i'm going to share this again with you as you age because you, you got to understand age is inevitable the more muscle mass you'll have on your body which means that's why i keep asking you to lift heavy the more you'll be able to maintain all through your life the lesser muscle mass means that you'll have more tendency to put on weight, put on fat because muscles weigh heavier than fat so you got to remember that. That's why whatever you do in the gym guys, train heavy. You know, think of adding as much muscle mass as you can. Don't think about abs, you know, because abs is very, very that, that temporary look. But if you don't have that muscle mass that I'm talking about, what are you going to do with those abs? The moment you start eating stuff, the moment you take stuff, you know, which is, you know, probably not as part of your diet plan, the no-salt diet plan, the water weight will come back and the abs will not be as visible as they were earlier. But when it comes to muscle mass, you can probably take muscle mass to different heights year on year. I'll give you another example. You know, fitness models, bodybuilders, every year they have a target that they have to take their muscle mass up a notch. Like look at Phil Heath, look at uh, uh, fitness models like Steve Cook, all these guys. If you see them, they bring their best year on year because if they be stagnant, if they are the way they are, if they're happy with it, they'll be like, you know what? I've played Mr. Olympia, I've won Mr. Olympia four or five times. You know, I've been a you know fitness model for so many years. Why do you have to train? I just can probably do what I'm doing. But no, the, because they know it. It's because the more muscle mass you have, the more you'll be able to maintain a long run, guys. So this is exactly my point to you is to, if your genetics don't allow you to, guys, you gotta fight against them. Just see what you can do. Now the question comes: How do you fight against your genetics? How did the, what did these guys do? that uh, uh, you know we haven't been able to do it's simple guys hard work persistence remember to change your body type it requires effort but to maintain that changed body takes a lot of discipline because the moment you go back to your eating pattern for example an ectomorph an ectomorph has a tough time packing on weight the moment he starts uh, eating and, and it gets more muscular and becomes a, a mesomorph uh, obviously he's muscular now but there'll be times you know when he won't be able to eat he won't be able to maintain that lifestyle obviously he has a tendency to lose weight so immediately what happens is he'll start losing his muscle mass that's why that's a that's a sad part with ectomorph the moment they stop training they lose their muscle mass so that's why it's very very important for them to keep training all throughout never lose out on that never miss out on days similarly with endomorphs too you know, if you're an endomorph, become an ectomorph, say, for example, Virat Kohli. Now, if Virat Kohli were to start go back to his older eating habits, he will put on weight because it's his genetics. But if he were to try to maintain this by being sheer discipline, committed, he can maintain it for the rest of his life. So you take a call. If you want to change your genetics, guys, it's a lifestyle to sign up. Discipline and commitment. You can do it. And trust me, it is possible so i hope you know uh, uh, you try to bring about those uh, uh, genetic change genetical change that you that you've always been thinking to do go at it see and how it goes and, and do let me know how that goes for you so any one of you have any questions around genetics and what you can do how you can change your body type feel free to reach out to me either on my youtube facebook instagram uh, i've again as i always say i'm adding people slowly on my whatsapp channel you know you will get notification the moment you get added on i also do these weekly q a series uh, wherein you know i get to answer all your questions via youtube live video feed all you have to do is print a hashtag ask Tarungil on your twitter and put up your question guys i try to answer answer as many questions as I can for you folks because the idea the reason why I exist is to answer all your fitness queries because I know the challenges and struggle that we all have to go through when there is no credible fitness guidance so I exist for you so until we meet again peace